Let's head to the Gospel of Matthew in the New Testament and take a look at something that Jesus taught us about kindness. It's, it's part of a collection of teachings called the Sermon on the Mount. So Jesus shares with us uh, and his disciples and a lot of people that were gathered around and, and they all just wanted to hear what he had to say. He's teaching his followers how to live in a new way in the world so that the world would see that they're different. So Jesus had just finished teaching about some pretty big topics like anger and relationships and lasting promises and revenge. And, and then he made a statement that might seem a bit strange to us. Check it out. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile, go two miles with them. So what was Jesus talking about here? I mean, is this like gym class mile run scenario or, or has the car broken down or something? Like what's the deal here? Well. To truly understand what Jesus is saying here, we have to understand the world when Jesus and his followers were around. Now in the time of Jesus, the land of Israel was not free as we might consider freedom today. Israel was a part of the Roman Empire and ruled by the Romans. Uh, they called the shots. The Jewish people had to follow the rules of the Roman law even in their own land. And one of those laws was called the Law of Impressment. You see, the Roman soldiers traveled by foot along the road and they carried these heavy backpacks. These would hold armor, weapons, food, rations, clothes, and, and they were really heavy. So this rule called the Law of Impressment said to ease the burden of the Roman soldiers, the soldiers could demand a Jewish person to carry their pack for them. For how long? One mile. But how did you know when the mile was up? Well, we don't know for sure, but it, it seems like along a lot of the roads, there would be mile markers, sort of like you might see on the highways today. So as a soldier, I would have enlisted this poor soul to carry my pack for me until we get to the next marker. The problem is he's now a mile away from whatever he was doing that day, heading to work, going to the market, whatever. But that was the law and he couldn't say no. And so you get the idea. Honestly, if a soldier played it right, he might barely have to carry his pack. And when you think about what Jesus said before, it might make a little bit more sense now. Suppose someone forces you to go one mile, go two miles with them. So what does it mean to be forced to go one mile? And what was Jesus now saying to his followers? See, Jesus was giving his followers an incredible way to be different and show next level kindness. Kindness that we might even say is not deserved. From here, we'll call it extra mile kindness. So some think the Roman soldiers might have taken pleasure in, in disrupting the lives of the lowly people and forcing them to do their work for them. And I'm sure they expected that everyone hated them. Can you imagine the reaction? So they're, they're, when the Roman soldier reached for his pack at the mile marker and, and the follower of Jesus looked at him and said, hey, I'll, I'll carry it one more mile for you. That, that would be so shocking and so unexpected. So like Jesus, that's extra mile kindness. On top of that, with this instruction about going the extra mile, Jesus was helping his followers understand that this act of kindness could also send a message. You see, carrying a Roman soldier's pack a second mile was like saying, sure, you can force me to go this first mile, but I'm choosing to carry your pack this second mile because God's goodness will always be stronger than anything you can make me do. So Jesus knows that kindness is powerful. It's awesome, and it wins every single time. We all have things we're expected to do, even ways of being kind to others. But then there's that extra mile kindness. And, and I bet you have some really great ideas for how to show some of this extra mile kindness. But when you give your time or your resources to help someone who wouldn't even think about helping you in the first place, you're going that extra mile. So have you ever received unexpected kindness? If so, what was your reaction to it? And then I want you to imagine what others could experience when you have the opportunity and means to show unexpected extra mile kindness to them. If you're not sure or haven't experienced that kindness like that, that's okay too. A lot of us haven't, but that doesn't mean we can't show it to others. We'll see you guys next time.